most of the northern counties are already cooling off into the 60s. 64 in New Albany, 66 in Pontotoc, but it's 70 right now in Louisville and 70 in Starkville, so it's a very sticky and humid kind of morning. 52 degrees, spooky good times, but a slightly ghostly chill out there tonight. So definitely have that jacket with you. The best relief right now is to hit the beach, definitely, because we've got a a grade for our beaches today. Ocean temps are in the 70s. It's a great way to stay cool because most of the areas along the shore, especially the barrier islands of Monmouth and Ocean County, we have a bit of a cold front that's working its way into our area. Lots of rain over parts of Tennessee and up towards Illinois. All part of a cold front that's working its way from Texas into our area. And we're going to continue to see those that showers and storms continue to build as we go into the afternoon. 69 right now in Bridgewater, 64 a little bit lower in North Brunswick. But what does that really mean? Well, we're running in that area of slightly humid to maybe even that uncomfortable category. By this afternoon, we could see some areas get into that oppressive area. Good morning, folks. Meteorologist Alex Herbs here with your Campus Connect forecast. And we've got a sunny start to your morning here across the southeast. Looking very nice right now in Starkville and in Coleman. Plenty of sunny skies back towards Jackson and Atlanta as well. And those temperatures are already on the rise here this morning. 70 degrees right now in Little Rock, 72 in Starkville, and 75 down to the south in Tallahassee. And we're going to see those temperatures really rise throughout the day here across the south. It's going to feel more like summer then like fall for most of us back here in northeast Mississippi. How about a 90 degree high today in Eupora or 91 here in Starkville? Definitely very warm, almost 10 to 15 degrees above average for this time of year. So really make sure that you are dressed appropriately for the weather today. And what also isn't slowing down is the tropics of late. Hurricane Maria, which ravaged Puerto Rico just a few days ago, is continuing to churn out in the Atlantic just off the coast of North Carolina here. And it's going to continue to push its way up and out of our picture for us here in the United States. Fortunately, you see it's going to continue to curve back out here into the Atlantic Ocean, but not without bringing a couple of showers and thunderstorms for those folks along the Carolina coastline. So definitely thinking about that for them. But for us back here in Northeast Mississippi, we're not really worried much about rain here in the next couple of days. Just a few passing clouds is really going to be the story for your Tuesday. As you see right around 3.30 here, a couple of clouds over Coffeyville and Calhoun City, but mostly sunny back towards Starkville and Columbus. And that's going to continue into your Tuesday night as those clouds start to fizzle off here, really making way for some pretty mostly clear skies overnight and a mostly sunny start to your day on Wednesday as well. And that will continue throughout the day. Unfortunately, a lot of the dry air that's sitting over us is going to really stifle any sort of rain that we're going to get that's going to give us any relief from, well, these 90 degree temperatures. 90 today here in Starkville. It's going to be a hot day, maybe a little bit humid too, so definitely be sure to stay cool if you can. 69 for your low tonight. Mostly clear skies. Definitely an above average night. Running about 10 degrees above average for your lows tonight. And we're going to see those temperatures continue to remain warm in your seven day forecast. That's when you're going to see those temperatures staying in the upper 80s to close to 90 all the way through Thursday. Then finally we get some relief. A cold front coming through on Friday. Going to help knock down our temperatures back down to around normal in the low 80s.